engaging the power of praise for supernatural turnaround. And I want to begin by saying to us this morning that every provision of scriptures and of the kingdom we only deliver to you according to your level of understanding. Every provision of scriptures, every provision of the kingdom, we only deliver to you and I according to the level of our understanding. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 23, Matthew 13 and verse 23, Jesus told them a parable earlier, and then in interpreting the parable, in verse 23, he said, He that received the seed into good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruits and brought forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. They were all good grounds. They all had the word. They all received the word. They all understood the world, but understanding is in depth. The deeper your understanding, the more profiting you experience. I want to believe God this morning that someone here, your understanding is coming alive in a new dimension. Understand that understanding is in depth. Revelation is in dimensions. Insight is in degrees. You cannot profit from any spiritual virtue, any scriptural provision beyond your level of understanding. In Psalm 111 and verse 10, the Bible talks about good understanding. Psalm 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and a good understanding of all they that do his commandment, his praise, endure it forever. And so please understand that from scriptures, praise is not an entertainment. We don't praise God to entertain God. We are not praising God to entertain ourselves. Praise is not entertainment. Praise is not to make us excited. Praise is not to make us feel good. Praise is a spiritual weapon of war. That is why in Psalm 47, the Bible talks about praise the Lord with understanding. Praise God with understanding. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Know what you are doing. Understand why you are doing this. Say with me, praise is not entertainment. Praise is not to make me feel good. Praise is a spiritual weapon of war. In Psalms chapter 8 and verse 2, the Bible tells us, Psalm 8 and verse 2, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, as thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. You have ordained praise to silence the enemy, to silence the avenger. And Jesus reiterating that same scripture, Matthew 21 and verse 16, Jesus said to them, have you not read? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise. In Psalm 149 and verse 6, it said, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and as a two-edged sword in their hand to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. 
to execute upon them the judgment that is written. This honor of all he says. Praise ye the Lord. We are not praising God to entertain God. We are not praising God to entertain ourselves. We are praising God to engage God in battle. We are praising God to engage God in spiritual warfare. In the name of Jesus the Christ, this month of praise, also being the month of our exams, whatever is out to stop you this month, God will stop it. Understand from scriptures, there's the weapon of our warfare, they are not to appeal or appease man. No. The weapon of our warfare, they are not to appeal to the senses of man. Second Corinthians 10 and verse 4, he said, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are not to appeal to the senses. It may not make sense to the ordinary man. But to those of all that be in the spirit, that understand the things of the spirit, these weapons are to the pulling down of strongholds. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I pray for someone here today, whatever represents a stronghold that is out to work against you in this Omega semester exam, every such satanic stronghold be pulled down in the name of Jesus. As you engage the weapon of praise, your own liberty shall be established in the name of Jesus. It tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 that the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit. So when it is time to praise, stop wondering what are they doing? Why are they shouting? Why are they dancing? What we need is prayer. Prayer. We don't need to be singing at this time. We need to pray. Exam is coming. <laughs> the strongest form of prayer is praise. You can pray and miss, but you can't praise and miss. James 4, verse 2, he said, You ask and you have not because you pray and miss. You can miss your target if you don't pray aright. But when you praise, you never praise and miss because praise is a celebration of who God is. And of course, for you to praise God acceptably, it must come from your heart. So it means it must come from your heart. It must come from your heart. Matthew 15 and verse 8, Jesus said, These people, they draw near me with their mouths. With their lips, they honor me, but their heart is far away from me. The praise that moves God, the praise that is comely to God must come from the heart. So when it is time to praise, don't praise from your head. Engage your heart. Don't just move your mouth. Let your heart be involved. Let your heart be engaged. And when we talk about the heart, understand that it is the heart of gratitude. Genuine praise is rooted in gratitude. 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 Only the thankful can be truly praiseful. Those who complain, those who murmur, those who don't see anything good happening around their life, find it difficult to praise. And hear me, until you are thankful for little things, you can't see big things. Until you are grateful for little things, you can't see great things. A lot of us are looking to God for miracles, expecting miracles, Whereas God is performing miracles in our lives every day and we don't even recognize it. Sleeping and waking up is a miracle. How many of you know that? There are many who sleep and they never wake up. So you think you know how to wake up, that's why you're awake? You think it's your alarm clock that woke you up. It is not your alarm clock that woke you up. There are many persons who set alarm. The alarm rang, they didn't wake 
I slept and I awake because the Lord sustained me. The Lord sustained me. The Lord sustained me. Until you are grateful for little things, you never see great things. In Psalm chapter 28 and verse 5, he said, Because they regard not the Lord, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operations of his hand, he shall destroy them. He will not build them all. In Numbers chapter 11 and verse 1, the Bible tells us how that the people murmured and complained and it displeased God. And the Lord had it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed them, even not to the uttermost parts of the car. Be grateful that your life is enough to thank God for. That you have health is enough. That your mind is working. Your heart is working. Your organs are working. A man who has lost his mind cannot be in school. He may be in an institution, but not the kind that you are in. Every one of us in this auditorium today, we have one reason or the other to be grateful for. And in case you are wondering, things have not worked, if I want them to work, understand this. Number one, in the words of the Chancellor, he said, if you have lost anything, God is the reason you have not lost everything. If you have lost anything, God is the reason you have not lost everything. It could have been worse than that. Left to the enemy alone, it would have been worse than that. You know, the doings of the Lord in my own life, they are marvelous in my eyes. It may not be marvelous in your eyes. That's your business. Somebody came to me one day. He said, Pastor, he's also a pastor like me. He said, I had that um, some fellows bought you a car. I said, yes. He said, wow, congratulations. I said, thank you. He said, so where is the car? And then I pointed the car to him, and he looked at it and said, ah, it's not an SUV. And I told him, thank you. That is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in my eyes. It may be ordinary to you, but it is marvelous in my own eyes. And then after a few weeks, he came back to me and said, can you imagine? I, I need to change my car. They didn't know that I should change my car. Can you imagine? I needed to cough out some money to go and buy the car. And I said in my heart, I prefer to receive a car than to cough out money to go and buy a car. Hello. Only those who are grateful for his finger can see his hand. Only those who are grateful for his hand can see his outstretched hand. What am I saying? You need to understand that praise originates from gratitude. The more grateful you are, the more praiseful you will become. No man can receive anything except it is given to him from above. There is nothing you have that you have not received from him. The more thankful you are, the more praiseful you will be. You and I, we must never take God for granted. And the more praiseful we are, the greater breakthroughs we command. Psalm chapter 114, beginning from verse 1 to 9, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of a strange language, Judah was a sanctuary. Israel was his dominion. The word Judah is also translated as praise. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams. The little hills like lambs. Say breakthrough. Say breakthrough. Say what hell did thou see that thou fled? Thou Jordan and thou was driven back. Tremble thou, O ass, at the presence of the God of Jacob. 
the more praise you are. So you want to see breakthrough in this exam. What should you do? Embrace, praise, 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 praise. I will celebrate my God. I will celebrate my God. Let his banner be raised and his glory be seen. I will celebrate my God. O ye biri 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 come yo. O ye biri 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 come yo. O ye biri 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 come yo. I no lu wa ye come yo. Ah eh, oromi jasi yanu. Ah eh, oromi jasi yanu. Ah eh. Oromi jasi yano jasi yano liwa shemu. Higher, higher, every day I lift my Jesus higher, every day. I can see him walking in my favor. I can see him fighting in my battles. I can see him bringing in my miracles. He will do what he says he will do. Sing ye praises with understanding. Now, don't just sing for fun. Let the song minister to your spirit. Let it minister to your spirit. Let it stir up faith in your heart. Let it charge up your spirit. Let it fire you up. In the name of Jesus the Christ, every satanic bulwark against your success in this Omega Semester exam, I command the crumble right now in the name of Jesus. I told them in the chaplaincy meeting yesterday, those who sing, don't sink. Those who sing, don't stink. If I be lifted up, I will draw men unto me. And now is he lifted up? God is gone up with a shout. Our God with the voice of a trumpet. What is in praise? Very quickly. Because this morning we will praise. So we will praise. Ah, we must praise. We will praise, we will dance, we will sing, we will shout, we will jump, we will scream. Make the devil mad. Because by all means, this Omega semester will be a record-breaking exam for you. Thank you, Jesus. When we run to him, when we run to him, when we lift our hands, come let's praise his name. And that is what we are going to do this morning. Amen? Those of you who think that uh, jumping and shouting and screaming is... Uh, is out of context. You are the one who is out of context. Amen. The man who was healed in the temple, what was he doing? He was jumping and leaping and screaming and praising God. <laughs> when Jesus came into Jerusalem, in the triumphant entry, like we all know, what were the people doing? They were screaming and shouting, Hosanna! To the son of David, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You need to go and find out the root of Hosanna. What Hosanna means? You think Hosanna is Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Mm. I must not shout. I must not scream. Hosanna. <laughs> no. Hosanna is a voracious cry. Voracious cry. That is what we are going to do in a very short while. But let me take you through what is in praise so that you know what to target. Amen? Because your praise must be targeted praise. We are not doing it for fun. Something must drop off on you today. 
Number one is divine presence. So me divine presence. Divine pr praise invokes divine presence. Divine presence. Psalm 22 and verse 3. Thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the presence of Israel. So God indwells our praise. In Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 10, he says, Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, says the Lord. Sing and rejoice. Sing and rejoice. Joy overflows in my heart. I'll sing a new song to the Lord. Sing. Why? In the midst of praise, God comes down. And you see, if you come into a place, for those of us who have visited uh, certain places where they cook during parties, eh, with the firewood and the intense cooking and all of that, if you enter that place and you come out of it, you don't need to tell people where you have been. True of us. You come out of that place with the fragrance of the... How many of us understand that? Now, so it is also when you come into his presence, when you invoke his presence by praise, as you return from there, you don't need to tell anybody that you carry God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are persons whom when you hug them, their perfume also hugs you. Hallelujah. How many of us understand that? You live there, you wear what they carry. So it is also in praise. In praise, we wear God. We put him on. His fragrance comes upon us. And I'm praying for someone here today that in the name of Jesus, throughout this exam, his presence will not depart from you. And hear me, when you carry his presence, there is no barrier that can stand against you. There is no resistance that can stand in your way. For if God be for us, who can be against us? No cause, no lecturer, no invigilator, no exam. Nothing can be against us. I pray for someone here again this morning that in the name of Jesus, this Omega semester exam shall be your best in days. It shall indeed be a record-breaking semester for you. He said the sea saw him and fled. The mountains keep like ground. The little hills like lambs. What hell it thee, O mountain that thou fled, that thou sea that thou was driven by? Say, tremble thou, O earth, at the presence of the God of Jacob. In Psalm 100 and verse 4, it talks about, let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Let us be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. And divine presence will always make all the difference. He said, Isaiah 8, I think verse 9 and 10, associate yourselves, O ye people, you shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, O ye of our country, guard yourselves, you shall be broken in pieces. Now verse 10, take counsel together, it shall come to naught. Speak the word, it shall not stand. Why? God is with us. God will be with you throughout this exam. I said, God will be with you throughout this exam. God will be with you throughout this exam. When you look at the life of Christ, the secret behind the exploit of Christ was that God was with him. Acts chapter 10 verse 38, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all them that were oppressed of the devil. Why? God was with him. And Jesus testifying of the same. John chapter 8 and verse 29. John 8, 29. He said, he that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone. For I do always the things that pleases him. What about the apostle? You look at the lives of the apostles. The secret behind their exploit was God being with them. Mark 16 verse 20. They went everywhere preaching. God walking with them. Confirming the word with signs and wonders following. You will command exploits in this exam. Divine presence also procures favor. Favor. And nothing 
Nothing breaks protocols like favor. Favor. You look at the life of Joseph, Genesis 39, verse 5, the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. Verse, the Lord was with Joseph and blessed the house of Potiphar for Joseph's sake. Verse 21, favor every side, favor everywhere. The Lord was with Joseph, showed him mercy, gave him favor. In the name of Jesus, this exam be highly favored. Be highly favored. But one of the things you must do, you must refuse to be depressed. Refuse to be downcast. Forget about the past. Forget about your past experience. God is doing new things. God is doing new things. Don't allow your past experience to becloud you and deny you access to what God is doing. He said, remember you not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. For behold, I the Lord, I will do a new thing. It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And then I will make rivers in the desert. For behold, I make all things new. I can see everything turning around. Ah, turning around. Turning around for my good. I can see everything turning. It's turning, turning, turning around. Turning around for my good. You know, he said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dreamed. Our mouth filled with laughter, tongue was singing. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. <laughs> It was not only us who knew that God has done great things. Even our enemies saw it. That the Lord has done great things for them. And one of the ways to provoke this is by embracing a lifestyle of praise. A lifestyle of praise. In Acts 2 verse 46, they were praising God and having favor with all the people. And God daily added to them. As they were praising God, God was adding to them. As they were praising God, God was adding to them. In the name of Jesus, this exam shall be your most favored exam today. I said it shall be your most favored exam today. By the favor of God, you will break protocols in this exam. Favor. 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 It is favor that makes even the people that don't like you to advance your course without their permission. Hello? You know, your enemies can help you without his permission. Okay, so, in case you are a lover of Nigerian police, or you are a police, or you intend to be a police, this is not to despise anybody. I love Nigeria. I'm a proud Nigerian, and I have no apologies for it. Praise the Lord. Zero apologies to nobody. God saw America before he brought me to Nigeria. And he brought me, Nigeria to make, he brought me into Nigeria to make a difference, so I don't have any apologies. I, I met someone somewhere one time uh, in one particular place, and then he was talking. Nigeria, I told him, I said, my friend, keep quiet. Did I steal from you? No. Have I taken anything from you? No. The next time you talk like that in my presence again, you are finished. He said, but you are in my country. I said, and so what? Did they, did they pursue me for my country? They didn't pursue me for my country. I came into your country to add value to you. I didn't come here to take anything. There's nothing you have here that is enticing to me. For what? I came here to add value. So you don't, you don't, talk, you don't talk to me like that in your life. Don't try it again. <laughs> Amen. Uh, you, you can't threaten me in my, in my country. I said, uh, so what am I doing now? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that didn't happen once or twice. I, I, I don't owe you any apology. I'm not an illegal immigrant. You know? So you can't talk to me anyhow. I know what I carry. So you can't talk to me anymore. You can't do that nonsense. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You will go places. I say you will go places. Yeah. You will see great things. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number two. 
Praise provokes supernatural returns on our seed soul, both material and spiritual seeds. Praise provokes supernatural returns on our seed soul, both materially and spiritually. And so some of us, we have been reading, we have been studying, we have been laboring, investing our energy, time, and resources, preparing for exams. Your reward season has come. I said your reward season has come. For all of your labor in preparing for your exam, God will reward you with excellent results. It shall be 5.0 all the way. In the name of Jesus. Say, Pastor, how will it happen? Your business is not how it will happen. Your business is to trust God. Say, blessed is she that believes, for there shall be the performance of those things that we are told her from the Lord. You just believe and do your part. Walk the walk and leave the rest to God. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8, the Bible tells us, He that swear to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that swear to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let us not be deceived. Whatever a man sow, that shall he reap. Verse 6 earlier, and then in verse 9 it, it says, If we faint not, we shall receive our reward in due season. We shall receive our reward in due season, if we faint not. And that season for you is now. Amen. Praise provokes returns on our seed soul. So you are a giver. You have been a tighter. You have been giving, helping your colleagues, helping people in need. This season of praise is your season of reward. You have been laboring across the service units, contributing your quota to the advancement of his kingdom. This season is your season of reward. For all of your investment in the advancement of his kingdom, this season is your season of reward. In Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7, he said, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Our God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Fearful blessings. Exodus 15, 11, who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods, there is none like you. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, doing wonders. It shall be a season of fearful blessings. I said it shall be a season of fearful blessings. It shall be a season of fearful blessings. And so every one of us should expect supernatural returns on our labor. Your spiritual labor, your material labor, your financial labor. In the name of Jesus, this is your season of rewards. I said this is your season of rewards. This is your season of rewards. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. A few dimensions on how to praise and then... We are ready to jump and to shout. Well, I've told you already what the dimensions are. I'll just give you scriptural references. Amen? Now, how do we praise God? Number one, we praise God with instruments. So be instruments. Psalm 150, beginning from verse 3 to 5. Psalm 150, beginning from verse 3 to 5, it says, Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the pastry and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with string instrument and organs. Verse 5. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. How else do we praise God? We praise God by clapping. Psalm 47 verse 1. Clap your hands, all you people. Amen. Now shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. We praise him by clapping. The psalmist talks about the ten string instruments. And I heard that the Jew of Redeemed Christian Church of God say that the ten string instruments represent your ten fingers. Amen. I remember I went to teach some years back in, uh, in a Bible school in one of the states. And then this young lady, okay, so... I was just led by the Spirit to give them that instruction that you see, whatever the challenge is, write it on a paper. Now, put the paper on the ground. Dance around that situation. Clap 
clap until your hand becomes so hoarse that there is fire burning in your hand. Now, the same way the fire is burning in your hand, that is how it will be burning in the hand of every enemy that is against that situation. Every enemy behind the situation, fire will burn him. And she took that word, went back home. Her sister had been pregnant for over nine months, no delivery. Wrote the name down, began clapping and doing all of that. <laughs> By the next day, the sister's labor began. The child that would not come came out by force. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The mysteries of the kingdom, they are not designed to appeal to senses. We praise God by jumping and leaping and all of that. Acts chapter 3 verse 8. And we also saw that in John 12, 13, when Jesus came into Jerusalem. How else do we praise God? We praise God by shouting. Amen. Psalm 47 verse 1 verse 5, shouts. How else do we praise God? We praise God by singing melodious songs. Psalm 47 number 6, sing ye praises unto God. Psalm 68, verse 4. And then we praise God in a dance. Psalm 150, verse 4. Praise him in the dance. Psalm 149, verse 3. Praise him in the dance. Mark chapter 6, verse 22. We saw how Eredoya's daughter danced to please the king. And as she danced, favor was poured out upon her. In the name of Jesus, for someone here this morning, in the midst of this high praise, God will be showering you with his favor. You are living here with the fragrance of his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name.